We are checking in today with the University of Minnesota Crookston, where the agronomy department has some new initiatives they are working on. Rob Pru is lecturer of agronomy at the University of Minnesota Crookston, and he's joining us right now. Thanks, Rob. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So for those that are not familiar with agronomy, how would you describe it to them? Well, I like to say that agronomy is all about harnessing the resources of air, water, soil, and sun through the beauty of plants. Uh, but from there, it gets a little more complex. And that complexity comes about where agronomists really try to integrate and apply several different scientific disciplines, such as weed disease and insect management, soil science, breeding and genetics, to really help crop producers meet their production goals and conserve natural resources and be profitable. You make that sound so pretty. <laughs> you did, that sounds great. <laughs> so tell us what new initiatives that you're working on. So recently I've received a small research grant to purchase a small unmanned aerial vehicle, uh, more commonly known as a UAV or a drone, and uh, some advanced cameras to go along with that. So I'm hoping this summer to integrate that into an existing research study on drainage. Um, and along with that also to in integrate that into our curriculum and, and get a little more involved in bringing precision agriculture approaches into the classroom, which um, I would classify as information rich agronomy. So to bring additional information to try to answer some of those agronomic questions. And then also just trying a lot of new instructional approaches. As you know, the pandemic has been disruptive to a lot of industries and higher education is no exception. And it's uh, been a challenge, but also an opportunity to try some new things in the classroom. And I've uh, been doing that throughout the past year. Okay. And so can you tell us a little bit about um, those opportunities for students outside of the classroom? So one of the main opportunities I would say is internships. And that's really an opportunity for students to take the knowledge they're gaining here on campus and put it into practice. And that's not unique to our institution, but one thing that is unique is that we um, require students to have an internship opportunity and we help them find those opportunities and we help support them in those opportunities. Uh, another unique opportunity for our students is agricultural judging competitions, which is where our students get to travel around the United States uh, to other agricultural areas of the United States and meet students from other institutions. So it's a great opportunity for them to expand their network a little bit and get to know students from other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing better than hands-on learning. So that's fantastic. Um, so what types of positions then are held by your graduates? I would say most commonly our graduates would work as a retail agronomist. So in that case, they would advise growers on production practices and also uh, sell seed, fertilizer, crop protection chemicals. Or they might work as a crop consultant, which is really similar, where they still have the advising piece, but they don't necessarily sell products. And that might be as an independent consultant, where they essentially own their own small business, or it might be as part of a private company. Uh, so that would be the main two opportunities. But then also we get students working in research positions in universities and companies and and also some students who go on to graduate studies and then um, get all those opportunities to come along with that. Okay, lots of, lots of opportunities for them. So um, what makes the agronomy program at UMN Crookston special or, or more unique? I would say one of the main things which I touched upon earlier is that commitment to learning by doing. Uh, we really try to integrate that across our entire campus. So that's internships, field trips, laboratory activities, um, outside field-based activities. But I would also say uh, one of the unique aspects of our campus is the opportunity for students to forge connections. Uh, one is with each other, being that it is a smaller campus, students have that ability to get to know their fellow students maybe a little bit a little bit better than they would on a larger campus, uh, but also the opportunity to forge those connections with faculty. Um, our faculty typically teach three to five courses a semester. Um, I, for example, um, teach about four to five courses a semester, and I'm teaching students from their first semester in our program all the way through to their last. So I get to know the students quite well. Uh, they get to know me, and we get to, to forge those connections where I can help them achieve their goals uh, during their time here. Absolutely, that sounds fantastic. Thank you so much, Rob, for joining us today. Good luck Thank to you. Thank you for having me. You bet. Coming up on today's show, we head to the Good Feet store.